first year, man, I know that place like I come from it Backstage at warehouse in 09 like it's one coming Dead is anyone coming before I show up there and there's no one there Girl, what are you waiting on? Follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell notification. Hey, 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 welcome back. I am on my way to Aldi. Um, today is Wednesday, so I am going to go check out um, their Aldi finds. I wanna see if the Caraway dupes are marked down so that I can get a price adjustment and so I can get some extra pans as a gift. Um, but for those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany. I am a full-time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing you food, lifestyle, and mental health content. So I will catch y'all in the store. All right, this lady gave me her cart. I offered her a quarter, but she said she didn't need it. That was very sweet. Oh, I didn't know these were coming out. Hold on, y'all. Let's look. They have an electric kettle that is super cute. Oh, hold on. We got a review. Hold on. Let me get comfortable. Okay, so everything is coming out in these two colors. These are super cute. They got the retro toaster. I guess they're trying to compete with, what's that um, expensive brand that everybody has um, now of the cute Smeg? It looks like they're trying to compete with Smeg. So they have this color, which is the same color that they have for the glass water bottle plus the skillets. You see that it's $25. And then they have this cream color. They have a retro coffee maker as well. And the coffee maker is $35. And then they have an immersion blender, which low key, I think I want, but I'm not gonna do it. They have a milk frother. Oh my God, they have everything, everything. Everybody's over here. Okay, look, an electric juicer. That's a really good idea, actually, for your citrus. And then look, a portable blender, and both of these are $17. And you just plug it in with your cord and then an egg boiler, I guess if you, let's go around. I guess if you just can't boil it on the stove for some reason, I guess. Oh, these are cute. These are actually West Elm dupes. I have seen these on the West Elm website. So they have this color with the green marble and then the gold inlay. This one, which is really cute. These are just wooden. And then this one, it looks like it's supposed to be green on this picture, but it looks gray actually. But these are West Elm dupes and they're really cute. $9, like you really can't beat that. I am really like taken aback by all of this cute stuff that they have going on right now like come on y'all so cute my suggestion is that you buy it and you just hold on to the receipt and get you a price adjustment when you need it oh this is a good idea that's a really good idea actually for ten dollars because i do not like clutter such a good idea. Oh, they have some tablecloths too. I miss that. And then some flower sack towel. What is that? Somebody let me know what this is for. And then they got some kitchen towels too. Very good stuff. Just for $5. All right, so this stuff is not on sale at my store yet, but I still need to grab one for my friend. You know what? If it's not on sale yet, and it's over here it looks like they might be selling it pretty quickly so it might not even go on sale i don't know hell no 7.39 for a watermelon last week i paid a dollar less and last year they were five dollars and fifty cents this is absolutely asinine just ridiculous i think this is new this sounds really good it's just the nuts and then the dried fruit, which I really appreciate. Let's see. Yummy. I'm going to grab a bag of these. 
just as a little piece of information, I usually stay away from the salted um, almonds and nuts and Aldi because they use cheap oil. So when you use the, or when you buy the unsalted, they don't have any extra ingredients in them, just the almonds. Whereas when you buy the roasted ones, it has that cheap cotton seed oil, which is like bottom of the barrel. So I'm going to grab these and then mix it in a container with the trail mix. Uh, this used to be cheaper than this. I think that this used to be $5. You could just go to BJ's and grab like a big old bottle for cheaper than that. I mean, for, you know, per ounce, it'll be cheaper. So that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to BJ's and grab a few items. Oh, look, they got tofu and vegetable dumplings. Have I seen this before? I don't think I have. Yummy. It's probably really delicious. Ooh, that's a whole heck of a lot of ingredients though. Good grief. Sheesh. Y'all wanna hear something funny? So there's this black lady in the store and she has a um, produce bag over her head. And my initial thought was maybe she's trying to protect her hair. But then as a therapist, I was like, maybe she has schizophrenia. <laughs> I didn't know, but she and I chatted because she was looking for the egg whites and they don't have any egg whites because they haven't had them in forever and she's clear in the head. So she's obviously trying to protect her hair because it's about to start raining. There are some new items this week. Spicy Korean barbecue style beef bowl, plant-based. So I guess it's made out of tofu. 290 calories, about a uh, you know, regular amount of sodium for a frozen meal. And this is only $3.79. Um, that's actually a really good price for a frozen meal because a lot of the high quality frozen meals are like $9 a pop. And this one is Thai sweet chili chicken bowl. Oh, the sodium is much lower on this one. Wow. Wow, so I guess this has plant-based meat in it too, but they're calling it chicken. So they probably shouldn't do that because that could be a little confusing. I am not a already prepared frozen meal kind of girl, but I tried some super high quality ones that were marked down from Target and Whole Foods and they were actually pretty good. What I have found is that there's not a lot of meat in it. So if it's like a chicken biryani bowl or something like that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's only like five pieces of chicken in it. But if you are like in desperate need of a meal, um, like, and you need something ASAP, then a frozen meal is a good idea. I find that the portion sizes are like appetizers though, but that's just me. Looky look, Dippin' Dots. Oh wow, with yogurt. 70 calories per cup. Wow, $5, so about $1.25 per cup. This is so stinking cute. And they have mochi. They always have mochi in my store though. What I really wanted to look for in Aldi today was the, I think it's butterfly shrimp. They have different flavors. One is a garlic and herb. They have an adobo. And then they have a, is it tikka masala? Something like that. And I also heard word on the curb is that these plant-based burgers are really good. This cookout version of the Beyond Meat. I personally don't <clears throat> eat these because of the ingredient list. It's just a little bit wild to me. I'd rather just eat regular meat for all of that or tofu, but I heard that these were good. Oh my bad, it is $15.38 for eight patties. Kind of expensive. And the total weight is two pounds. Oh, they got the shrimp. So it's 12 ounces for... 6.49. So I am going to grab these because apparently they are all the rage. Wow. Oh, the ingredient list isn't too bad actually. It's just that cheap sunflower oil. That's the problem. It looks pretty standard to me. No added sugar. That's good. I might grab two bags. So you'll see garlic and herb tandoori and then the adobo i think i heard you know mild hot and i think this is hotter i think okay these candles are half price so 
So they have mimosa and then this one is mint julep. And look at the container. So gorgeous, right? So gorgeous. How many ounces is this? 8.8 .8 ounces for $2.50. This is just beautiful. And it's obviously a single wick. BJ's now from a few items and look, see, Audi was tripping. All right, so um, yeah, the pots and pans weren't marked down, but it's only been one week. So it's possible that they could be marked down next week, but I don't know because the shelf is looking pretty clear, but it is possible that they could be marked down at another store. And if that's the case, I'll just buy them from the other store and then return them at full price. That's the way that I'm gonna do it. Um, but I did end up getting my friend um, two um, pots and pans as a housewarming gift. So that was, oh, and I got my shrimp. I'm so happy I got my shrimp. I went ahead and I grabbed three bags of the garlic and herb and I'm gonna start there. And if I really like that flavor, then I'll try the tandoori and or the adobo because it's grilling season. Like I already got the lamb um shoulder that's in my freezer and then if we do that shrimp as well like husband it's time to get on the grill all we need is sides now that's all we need um so yeah that's that's exciting um that is all that i have for you all in this video i will catch y'all in the next video until next time and let me know if you got those pots and pans, please, actually, please let me know if you got those pots and pans so that we can discuss how we like cooking with them because I've only had them for a week and so far I am enjoying them, but I wanna hear what you all's experience is of them, okay? So until next time, 